welcome again to another day, I guess you could say, <laughs> at Spectacle Island. So we're just some more harvest done, got the cows going, uh, went ahead and updated all the foods and everything. Here, I'll just jump in, we'll show you. <laughs> So, like you're saying, let's go over here and look at the sheep. We need a little bit of grass and a little bit of water. Chickens are doing okay still. Cows, you can see, I went ahead and got the rest of the water, straw, TMR, so they're all set up. They're doing pretty well. Actually, producing some good stuff there. Horses, as you can tell, we're at the. 100% mark, so 50,000 each. We can sell those guys off, so another 100 grand. And then we can start over with some other horses. Might get three. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But go from there. Well, we got, whew, we got five of those nine build. Wow. Chickens are at 436. They produce that crazy. Sheep are at 60 now. We started with 50. That's good. Cows will reproduce, but obviously a lot slower, and unless you have a lot more of it. So, all right, let's go ahead and clean these up, clean some of this stuff up real fast. Hope everybody's having a great week. I know it's pretty much the beginning of it, but <laughs> weekends are my favorite. <laughs> the bull is growing fast. It took some last night. It was late. I don't think it was last night. Yeah, really, really late. And it sort of filled pretty far back up. So that's a good thing. We're making some money off of some wool, too, so, but Steady income, that's for sure. Alright, so we'll get back to dude up here. Oh, wait, I do cows. I keep forgetting we got cows now. <laughs> we got some moo of the moos. <laughs> also, I'm gonna mow yesterday and put the grass in and got some silage. What's going on with the slurry dupes? Obviously manure is going to be, I don't know, the slurry is supposed to be in there, I don't know what's going on. Have to figure that out when it gets to it. Ooh, there's a door there, be careful. There's buildings just jumping out of the way, I don't know why. out of there and use that for uh, other things but so and as you can see it does show fermented silage 100 percent I'll leave that on there for now we're gonna go ahead and uh Something's flashing down there, so bakery takes oats, of course, we don't have any special. Okay, so, let's take a look at the map here again, too. Alright, so as you can see, cotton. Canola and barley, did I put barley there? Yeah, barley, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> No, that's wheat. <laughs> Sorry. I'm losing my 
marbles. So we got our corn as usual and put some flowers down here this time. Some flowers. Not worth the whole oh, that's not bad. Green warehouse. So we can do over there or the hilltop mud mill. So that's not bad. We can get those some flowers, get some money out of those too. So I definitely want to try and get some pigs and we have all the animals. It's a lot of work, but <laughs> heck, if I do that, I might even sell off a field or two. That way we can just focus more on those. I believe the grass is ready again, too. Let's take a look here. Yep, cool. I think I'm going to need to maybe do some poplars or something in one of these trees or something. Just something different. Change it up a bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get our harvester ready. So you got it over there. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let me double check one more thing. Ooh, I need to fertilize those to dry. All right, so let me go fertilize those guys real quick. I almost forgot about that. Time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> Run through the sheep pen, they're probably gonna be like, what is this dude doing? Alright, so I'm gonna go hit that fertilization. Get that back down there. Just fill this up once, it's still got over half minutes. It's doing great. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go get this started on the fertilizing, and then uh, bring up the, rent the uh, corn, or the, sorry, the cotton harvester, and I will be back in just a few. Alright, we're back out here, look at the boat out there, <laughs> that's cool. Kind of closer to these things, sorry, I was just paying attention to the boat, I'm just running straight to the fence. <laughs> So, get this guy in here. This thing goes 15 miles an hour. It is a bear trying to take it up from the... Docks down there, but I uh, got the guy... Somebody's throwing some fertilizer down there, so that's good. And then we'll go over to that field. That one's odd, but whatever. So I'll get this Mr. Bit on this one. So it was odd fields, but I'm just starting to do a little deal on Glen Oak Farm 19. I've been really wanting to do something on that big fields, beautiful map. I only started playing on 19 here, so if it's 19, but uh, I know it's a It's a uh, update for 19 from 17, but uh, man, it's just been it's great. So I'm learning a lot too, of course. But uh, yeah, I want to do get some, get some some extra things on there. So, <laughs> but I'm not partial to any one thing. Like this is a John Deere. I don't dislike John Deere or like don't dislike any of them. I just don't use certain things. Yeah. John Deere is great, but slot counts certain prices are usually a bit higher on those so it just depends on what's going to work best since I'm using crop description <laughs> crop destruction I pronounce, pronounce my words properly I went with uh, a different tractor because they have options for uh, the, the skinny wheel the narrow wheels because if you don't do narrow ones and you run over crops playing around with it, but yeah, anything other than narrow just rips right through, and if anybody's played on crop destruction, you kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, so that was... Sorry, I got to this guy here. So that's going to be fun, but, uh, yeah, it's it's such a nice map, so beautiful and great detail, everything's been great on it. That's slightly close. Kind of cool. 
watch and see how the people are in there. Seeing that people are taking care of business and there's actually a person in there. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Alright, so this one... Alright, let me go get... Sorry, I'm going to flip through all these things here, but I'm going to drop I can see it kind of in the shadow of the building there. Oh. Looks like the helper C is complete, eh? Man, sorry. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Just. They are not. That's not complete. stuff yourself sometimes, you know what I mean? I waste a lot of this, unfortunately, but I want to get this whole field cleared. The whole field sprayed down. in 22 they actually have a little better AI control on that. I mean, it is what it is and without being square fields and if there's something in the way I totally understand that, but it would be nice to have a or if you can deny payment. <laughs> that sounds bad, but yeah. Yeah, see if I had crop protection on it, it'd be just tearing through these. Look at that field of sunflowers, man. It's amazing. Alright, so we need to go. Oh, I'm going this way. Yep, Alright. I don't know why that little patch seems to not do anything. It's weird. That's in all the crops I put in there. That little tiny patch there just does not fill in. So weird. Alright, that feels complete. It's enough. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and knock this field out. And uh, bring you back in in a minute. Alright, so yeah, just gonna uh, harvest or whatever. I forgot to see uh, Just gotta go watch and look at the crops and see that growth. It's pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, just see the weather up there. Looks like it's gonna be raining here soon. Soon. <laughs> or soon. So I'm trying to get these crops in. So if it starts raining, we can't harvest. Which is no fun. Wow, sorry, I went all the way through all of them. <laughs> it's nice to have that option to bounce around, but man, if you don't go the right way, it takes a minute still. I'll get this guy unloaded and then uh, go back to where we were at. I just see the fields are all harvested or fertilized, that's good. So I think I'm trying to just get to where this baler and this thing is done, then I can just get the bigger guy. Cause... Right. Or just stop doing cotton in general. I mean, it's a good money maker, but leasing and dealing with all this equipment's getting. Unless I do like a big field. Now, if I do this way here, or maybe even three over here with the cotton. So even one's not that bad, actually. Okay. <laughs> Either way. Alright, so we send this back out into the world. Alright. That was 
just one step away if I would have done that way. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started up. <sighs> There's a, a rail there. golden brown, golden color for this the canola. Yeah, it's interesting how the canola's got that bright yellow color as it's growing, and then after a while, pfft, it turns to this. When it's ready to harvest, it's just plain like wheat and barley. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so let's get this started off here. I'm going to hire a help for this. Flath, Smith, whatever. But uh, I forgot this one doesn't have it. But yeah, some of them do, some don't. Make a little extra money off the straw, it's always a good thing. Or use it for the mammals. The animals. <laughs> I'm going to go get the truck. And bring it over there. So. The shiny trailer. <laughs> yeah. I like one of those eggs too, because we're pretty full up on those bad boys. Oh yeah, Mr. CDP is watching uh, his Spectacle Island one. Interesting thing, as if you look here, Spectacle Farm, but. I don't know how he said somebody showed up. I'm going to turn that help menu on so you can see this. Back behind the building. I was checking the rest of them. Not just behind the actual um, garage over here, but right here with all this wood is that. If you come here, see it says update farm sign. And now I've been looking around all these buildings trying to find stuff. I haven't found anything else yet, but it's just funny how that works out. You go, oh, let me go run around. Oh, let me go check this out. And how people find these things is amazing to me. Cause, whoa, what's going on here? Okay. Now I know gold bar situation. You actually had to grab it through the wall and then either push it forward or bring it through, whatever lost one one time and like no wasn't fun but they come out over here and the sign has changed <laughs> it's pretty cool I know Alien Jim and Mr. C. The Pier known each other for a little while they were good friends which is neat that's pretty cool so yeah I'm sure he has some bias towards Alien Jim as being good friends but you know what it does make some darn good maps and Awesome, everything. So I'm gonna come back over here and restore sign. And it should be back to Spectacle Farm. These chickens are loving me running through here, like, hey, hey. <laughs> Spectacle Farm, there you go. Just, just a little tidbit. <laughs> Pretty cool to see when. Not just, you know, like I said, Mr. CDP and Indian Jim. I mean, Sussex Farm is another one that it, it's pretty cool. You go into, and that's just one of the many. I mean, there's there's so many modders. I, well, like I've started doing Lone Oak, Oxygen David Boulevard. You know, there's all kinds of names of YouTubers and uh, people that I think it's Oxygen. I have to look at it again, but don't quote me on that. Sorry, <laughs> but there's so many names of YouTubers and mod map makers, all kinds of different things that. They have their little nods to those people because, I mean, you know, YouTubers really help out modders and modders are amazing, so it is what it is. 
So you need to see that Sussex farm, like I said, there's a, if you go on there, right from where your main farm is at. Oh, hey, he's full. Almost. Um, right where your main farm is at, there's a farm club, I believe. There's a CDP bakery, a CDEG, sorry, ECEG bakery, and then a CDP got a thing there, too. And then there's also Farmer Klein's got a house that actually has his name above. So there's a couple different names on the houses themselves. So again, Seth Sussex Farms, you go there, and you look um, where your farmhouse starts if you're a new farmer. Look at the houses close to you just down the road, and check out the names on the doors. It's pretty cool. It's neat to see the not mod makers do little things like that. I only had 3,300. This one was 80%. <laughs> Sorry, flashing around everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. That wasn't a mess and a half. Okay, let's go back to slow down, Rob. This is the one that was 80%. Man. So sorry for that little flipper do. <laughs> helpers going which one is a, that's why I saw 33,000 like wait that's an 8,000 gallon tank or liter tank but wrong helper <laughs> but yeah just like I was saying it's, it's, it's really neat to see how people add in little things like that Pretty cool, and it's it's neat to it's all the support that everybody gets. It's really neat to see that people give people get pretty cool stuff. Put this guy back on track here. Horses here. Let's go ahead and let's see. So we have Fabio and Gulliver. Which one's that? So we can do a couple different type ones here instead. Let's go with the Black Stallion, yeah. And uh, that's a cool, I like that color. All these are amazing horses, so. So 10,000 for that to come over, boom. And so now we got Keisha and Joker. <laughs> Let's go ahead and whew, look at that 90th. Sorry, feathers. Boom. Almost a hundred thousand dollars for that. And if you look at the horses now, see the way I did it there. Oh, I boosted it all. Because if you take the horses out and they have too much stuff, I don't know what happens to be honest with you, I don't know if it... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab the Black Stallion. Black Stallions are cool. Well, all of them are cool, don't get all of them. Oof, look at that jumped. Running through the fertilized cornfields. <laughs>
flying off from the river playing around with the sunflowers. <laughs> or the whatever. Water. Like me some sunflower seeds, but boy, that's a lot. <laughs> Let's see, we're at twenty-six percent there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with this horse and get these fields harvested, and uh, be back with you here in a few. Alright, so we got through that scenario. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this grass mode here, so let's go ahead and get this baby pulled out. I wish I had this when I had a house. Some set up like this would be awesome. <laughs> I know it's not necessarily the right thing to do, but hey, you know what? Well, I did not have near as big a yard either, but. <laughs> Alright, so let's go kick this guy on, kick these guys on, and away we go. It's so hard to tell where the edges are, but I just start blowing everywhere. <laughs> Once I get a little closer inside, then of course I'll throw in a helper to do that, but I'm just cruising along. Get some stuff done before the rain comes down. It's never a good sign when he's trying to. Um, I don't think I don't know about the mowing. I don't think I think it's still mowing rain. Now it's seasons you can technically, but obviously it's do hay. It's not gonna dry because it's obviously wet. But you know, <laughs> it's a whole other beast in itself. It's all mowed up, and uh, okay, get more of the harvest going here. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you guys want me to, s to plant or you want to see, let me know in the comments. Obviously, you can't tell me to my face, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm here to have fun with this, like I said before. Just I want to try and make sure everybody else is happy and see what all you want to. I mean, either way, I'm going to still play the game, no matter way I look at it, but it's neat to hear some comments and see some ideas, and yeah, definitely some things I don't even know, you know, I haven't really tried much of, like, obviously on this, first starting off on this island with all the trees, I don't do forestry hard at all, it's a bit of a daunting process to me, but it's great, it's neat, I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> So when it comes to that, it's like, well, I would be totally open to trying it out. And see if I can figure out more. Try to straighten this out a little bit better so that we uh, hope it can actually stay within the curves. But yeah, just anything, any suggestions, equipment, exit I, I like. All of them, John Deere, Klaus, Fent. Case I H, you know, all these guys are just, they're, they make some great products. But I don't like to stick with just one because, you know, I might have a John Deere that does great for this product. Oh, Klaus that does good for this. A uh, Case for does good for this. Just, just depending on what it is and whatever mods are available, some of the mods just, that brand does the better for what I'm using it for. I'll do that, but. Ah, try to even this out again. <laughs> Sometimes I just waste time missing everything while I'm trying to wind it up. Anyway, we'll get another helper on this one. I'll have three helpers in one farm. Wow. 
This right about there. Yep. Uh, ish. <laughs> cool. Um, get some more harvesting going on, and I'll bring you guys back in here in just a few. All right. So jumping back in here. Obviously, you got the guy mowing over. All right, our girl, the helper. That's your phrase. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see what we got going on with this feather here. Ooh, 90%, sweet. So into this one. These helpers are helpless. <laughs> and it's, well, some of these fields, unfortunately, they don't quite make it properly. Let me see. I might be able to. Hmm. Sorry, I think I keep hitting my mic there. I might just change this up a little bit here. Let's see if we can get this uh, into a bale. If I can get this a full bale, then not have any extra. <laughs> I don't know how to do all this stuff on the bale sometimes. Then I start doing just the regular harvester for five hundred thousand. But these things sell pretty good, so I mean, cotton is definitely worth a after you get initial and in huge investment. But let's see where we're at with this guy. Oh, hey, I'm stuck. That's amazing. over because then I'll have this little extra cotton that I really don't have anything to do with and yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know. Finish this up here, and let's, let's just do these real quick. Yeah, this is quality driving, I'm sure. Oh, that's amazing here. Right. <laughs> I got it. Two matters. This is pretty close to. So that's cool. So hopefully, this will be it for this batch, and then uh, I can start getting the bigger fillers. Those are like twenty some thousand just to rip the dang things. But I don't think that did much for anything, did it? Slightly. I'm telling you, this thing goes at a whopping 15%, 15 miles per hour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, this guy is going to fall. <laughs> Good 
just doesn't care, does he? I want to hit you, man. motion here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm an eight to ten percent ish maybe. Let's try the sewer wrap this thing. I just don't want to go over it. I'm really close. It's nice, but if I can get just the right amount, I don't know why I keep trying to I can just bring the trailer over. <laughs> Take that down and sell it off and make some more money. sell this guy off real quick and we'll call it a day. I'll put the uh, help menu on for this because it's different. See right there trying to unload Beeler. Oh, it took me forever to <laughs> figure this out. Alright, so I'm going to get this down to the spinnery and I will bring you all back in so we can sell this off. I'll show you what it looks like. See you in a minute. Alright, so, glad I didn't show you guys, man, I was I got stuck on that ledge up there, it's, it's hard to just get rid of this trailer, but if the thing works when we run with play, any kind of little situation just doesn't want to work. Let's go ahead and put that out, boom, $65,000 for that, so that is cool. Close back up. Boom. Another cool thing is as I was coming down the hill. Let me go back to the harvester. Oh, seriously. The uh I heard the cows mooing. I was like, oh that's pretty cool. So now that we got the cows, they're mooing at us. Pretty nifty. I'm hearing from as I was traveling down the thing and I could hear them there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, so that was, uh, so yeah, we got the harvest out of that. Finish this all up here, get this and the, uh, bar of the next door there. Get whatever we need to sold off and move along. Ah, we're $200,000 now, so yeah. <laughs> Moving along, um, if you liked the video, please hit a like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Let me know what you want to think. Let me know what you think. Let me see if, if, if you know what you want me to if there's any ideas that you want to 
see me plant and try and harvest. I said I'm having fun doing it, so I'm going to do what I want to do, but if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Thank you very much, and you have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you later, alligators. <laughs>